Hi guys and welcome to episode 4, Dark Room of the Life is Strange series. It doesn't feel like we're coming to a close with this series. I mean, obviously we still have to do episode 4 and then there will be episode 5, Polarised. But I still have so many questions and I really hope this episode answers some of them. I mean, I know it's going to raise more of them that will be answered in episode 5, but I at least want some of my questions answered. So we'll just dive in and see what happens. Alternative Beach Previously on Life is Strange Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. That was kind of beautiful, the way they edited all that together, actually. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future, so choose wisely. Okay, so we're at the beach. Because that is sand and water. I have excellent deduction skills. Sherlock Holmes, eat your heart out. Now, are we going to be here with Chloe? Um, are we taking off, are we starting where we left off is what I should be saying there. Feels eerily quiet. I assume there would normally be music playing here and unfortunately as I need to remind um, myself actually every time I record these episodes is that I actually do have the music muted due to copyright strikes that may happen within the game when I'm recording these series and I apologise about that. But welcome to Life is Strange Episode 4 Dark Room. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'm entertaining enough to make up for the lack of in-game music. So here we are with Chloe. I forget she doesn't have the blue hair now. Ah yeah, and you have the issue with the whales upon the beach as well. Has nothing been done about that? How long has it been? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. 
It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Yep. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. It is beautiful lighting like, to take so photographs, yeah. I kind of know how they feel. Aww. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, let's talk about the accident then. Okay, how do I do this again? Okay, here we go. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. So Rachel's still missing. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Apologies for the fact you may have heard me sneezing there. Hopefully I got it out in editing. Um, at least I was near sneezing. <sighs> It might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. <laughs> <in the sense. laughs> None taken. <laughs> oh god. Well, it's nice that they're talking again in this universe, and they seem friendly towards each other. So Chloe didn't know Rachel Amber in this universe, but Rachel Amber is still missing. Hmm. Very pretty visuals, though. I'm just curious why no one's done anything about the beach the whale situation. I mean, surely something can be done there, right? It feels awkward just to leave them. So this is Chloe's house, I think? Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. 
Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Chloe's amazing. I love Chloe. Okay, so we need to get water for her. Let's take a little look around her room and see what she's got. There's our cup. Let's get a bracelet. There's the old Chloe. Signs of the Chloe we know. Just makeup. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. So, she very much does still have that style. It's just unfortunately she can't. She can't really express it herself. I would say it would be a problem here for her. I feel awkward sniffing around her room. Actually, I should really get her water. She's got a mouth control. What's this? A mouth control joystick? Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. She could probably play Elite Dangerous. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. So cool that you're here again. Oh. I'm glad you think so. Sorry, I'm just snipping out your computer, Chloe. You don't mind me. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. So at least in this universe, like, the personalities aren't completely different, although Chloe just doesn't like the word hella here. Um, the Black Attic Club, 21 and over only. Show calendar, October 2013. Uh, Friday 11, Black... <laughs> I said that's so weird. To one day, 13. Um, because I could hear my family talking in the background. Apologies if the microphone is picking up on it. <clears throat> Friday 11, Black Flag Tribute Band. Saturday 12, Dorothy Twister. Wednesday 16, Lopan's Eyes. Saturday 26, Pisshead. Uh, Monday 28, The Disco Boys. And Halloween Night, Groovy Gullies. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Oh, she's on an IRC uh, chat. Hot Wheels chat room. Welcome to the Hot Wheels chat room. Handybot, for your safety, do not give any personal information to any person in this chat room. You're responsible for knowing the chat room rules. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Ignatius, talking with you. Miss Blue, haha, -ha, no shit. Ignatius, I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Miss Blue, OMG, love, Scott Bakula? Rules? I don't, I don't know that name. Uh, Ignatius, so do you. I hope we can meet soon, Miss Blue. Not if you're in San Francisco. I have to take care of some body work. Uh, let me know when you're... Let me get back to you when you're binging on Bakula. Ignatius, you better. Hello? So who else is in the room? Someone called Eileen and Snack. And there's a... Uh, Badiff, Oddball, and Handybop. Is that like Moobop? Okay. I'll give you your cup in a minute, Chloe. I really don't mean to be rude. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Okay, so we have a picture it's here. Nice my parents sent a card at least. Postcard. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Thank you. I wonder you. who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan? Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that'll change soon. I hope you're well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. That's a pretty good selfie, though. Is this a real chair? I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. So she's got a couple of snow globes. Snow globes are taking over. Did we see any of these uh, in the previous universe? There's a deer one. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Teddy bear. 
Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Let me look at the snow door again. Um... Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? I noticed she you don't have the swing set. The grass now. Oh, I I talked over Chloe there. Apologies about that. Um, but I noticed they, they don't have the swing set anymore that I think they did in the previous universe still. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Okay, so that was the photo we took last episode. Uh, what's this? At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Okay, let's. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. Look at the water. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Okay. God, we feel so much guilt for what happened here. And it's because we knew what happened. You know, we knew Chloe before this accident. I mean, obviously in this universe, we knew Chloe before this happened. This is why I did not want to take the photograph. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. So how long ago was this accident? Like, do we know that? Um, are they able, can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Embrace the puns. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, this is nice. It's nice that we're doing things together now. Um, I feel even more guilty that I looked around, but I can look around even more now. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Is 
Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. You want blue hair? Let's dye your hair blue. Nothing but medical supplies. Okay, I mean, I doubt DVDs would be kept in here, but still. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Can we give her the bracelet over? <laughs> I know, I just want to do nice things. Okay, here's the DVDs. Ah, uh -huh. here's the DVD. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. okay, Max. That was creepy. Oh my god. I made that uh... mix for her when we were 12. Power, power! All right. Now we have a movie night. Awesome. Movie night, best night. Let's do this. Oh. Cuties. <laughs> 